Yeah, hello and welcome to another update video about ADA. In my video earlier today, I um, suggested to you that price could already have topped in wave two and that a break below the wave one low in this decline here, which was below 26.8 cents, could trigger uh, the continuation of this third wave down. And the target that you would expect typically in a third wave is 24.3 cents. So I'm watching now for this possibly to be reached. Um, price action at the moment suggests a third wave down is in the making. If you missed a bigger context, check out my previous video. But the idea is that ADA topped in a wave four larger degree on the 13th of June. And we're now heading down in a fifth wave. Okay. What I of course observe is that Bitcoin Ethereum made a new local low, whereas ADA didn't. Many altcoins that sold off already in the last few days didn't really make a new local low, um, but they are following through to the downside as anticipated. What now is now important? It is important to really confirm this lower degree wave count. Um, to really confirm this price needs to reach the 24.3 cent level, the 1.618 extension. And if price doesn't do that and instead rallies above the wave too high, at 37.7 cents, then this particular wave count that I have on the chart would be invalidated. And we have to take into consideration that maybe the overall low is already in. Because what now would need to happen actually is a um, continuation to the downside in an impulsive manner. And it also broke, I mean, price did break, even though it was only briefly, but price broke below the X wave low that normally indicates the continuation of the downtrend in this case. Yeah. Um, however, obviously it's holding a higher low at the moment, whereas Bitcoin and Ethereum sold off quite a bit. Now, again, that the altcoin sold off as well. It's just that they recovered quite a bit in the last few days, whereas Bitcoin and Ethereum really just moved sideways. However, um, Obviously, we cannot rule out that a low has been made here already of this entire correction on Saturday, but that's why we've got our invalidation point. And invalidation point for the move down is this wave too high at 27.7 cents. As long as price stays below that level, I expect a further continuation to the downside in five waves Two in the next step, the 1.618 extension of wave one of wave five. That would be 24.3 cents. We should then see a shallow fourth wave and the wave five to the downside. And this should ideally at a minimum go below the third wave low. This is the swing low that was made on Saturday. Textbook target normally for a fifth wave is, is the 2.618 extension. In this case, 22.2 cents. It would basically be a double bottom then. However, ideally price goes a little bit below the third wave low that would um that would um, be ideal, just from an ideal wave structure point of view. So at the moment, nothing else to add. I think um, it's followed through to the downside nicely. Let's see if it can follow through. You know about the invalidation point. And yeah, if price breaks above this wave too high, I think my first assumption would be that ADA is producing a larger wave four because it still has space in this resistance area to reach 30.4 30 cents. You know, what could happen, for example, is that the WXY structure here was just a larger A wave. We're now coming down in three waves in a B wave and would then rally up higher in a C wave. And that's possible and likely as long as we are holding um, below the 50% retracement, because until then, this can still be a wave four. But at the moment, because we reacted to resistance and we already um, <clears throat> are following through to the downside quite impulsively, I for now assume that the wave four topped against the high of 27.7 cents. Okay, that's my update about ADA. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.